Hi and welcome. In this video, I will discuss certain local area network technologies which operates at layer 2 of OSI model that is the data link layer. Now a local uh, area network is a network of computers which interconnects computers in a limited uh, area that is uh, for example a building or a floor or adjacent buildings and according to some uh, sources uh, this uh, distance is limited to one kilometer. Now in this video I will discuss uh, these uh, five uh, LAN technologies and coming over to the first technology that is the attached resource computer network or ARC net, ARCnet. So it is actually a legacy LAN technology and it based on uh, token passing uh, that is the possession of our token in a, uh, a networks allow a device uh, to read or write traffic on the network. So uh, actually it does uh, it does resolve uh, the collision issues which are uh, now with the ethernet technology but it is uh, now deprecated and this technology used uh, 2.5 or uh, 16 mbps that is the later version uh, of uh, data speed and uh, it uh, used uh, the star uh, topology and uh, also uh, uh, this topology is now used by ethernet so it established a logical ring and in this logical ring the possession of the token allows a network device to communicate over the network. So therefore it is more deterministic and predictive uh, unlike ethernet because in ethernet uh, there are collision issues so network behavior is not predictable. Now the next uh, technology is the token ring. And this technology is similar uh, to the uh, ARCnet and it is also deprecated and uh, uh, it was introduced as 802.5 uh, IEEE standard and it also operates by passing the token in a logical ring or loop. So as with the ARCnet uh, there is no collision issues with token ring which are, the, uh, which are there in Ethernet and it is uh, more de deterministic and predictable network and it uses uh, 10 uh, uh, rather it is said that uh, the 10 MB version of Ethernet uh, is less efficient than ARCnet or this uh, token ring. Uh, but uh, later on uh, this Ethernet uh, uh, or due to the introduction of fast Ethernet or gigabit Ethernet which operates at 100 Mbps and 1 gig or 10 gig and uh, the ethernet uh, is also cheaper then uh, these both technologies are no more in use. Now this uh, token ring uses a multi access unit or MAU uh, to operate this logical ring over physical star topology and it can also use the physical ring topology and it can also use the physical uh, star topology but for physical star uh, topology it has to use this MO or multi, uh, multi access unit. Now this uh, technology is rare and it is not seen uh, since a decade or 10 years uh, because th there were certain performance issues and then the cost was very high as compared to the ethernet and uh, the deployment and OM or operation and maintenance of this token ring was uh, also more difficult. So next technology is related uh, to the fiber. So it is also a legacy uh, backbone uh, LAN technology which uses fiber channel that is the light media and instead of copper. So uh, the this was very high speed token passing uh, but in this case it was the token bus which is different than the uh, token ring token busing technology. So it also operates in logical ring then there are dual ring uh, ring for uh, opposite uh, uh, transmission of uh, traffic. So there is a uh, level of fault tolerance and self filling in case if uh, one segment of network is failed. So this segment is removed from the network and then 
these uh, two rings uh, used uh, the correct uh, segments or the segments which are uh, operating correctly and uh, to uh, make a ring. So there is no uh, EMI interf interference because it uses uh, the light and uh, the speed of this uh, FDDI is 100 Mbps and it is also uh, failed because it was very uh, exp expensive and it, moreover it was also incompatible with the LAN because it could not use the copper and uh, there were certain, uh, certain other compatibility issues. So it was the campus uh, network LAN technology before fast internet or gigabit ethernet. And it is also uh, now the uh, latest version or an improvement of this FDDI is 802.6 that is the metropolitan uh, area network. Then another version of this DDI technology or distributed data interface is the copper uh, distributed data interface because in FDDI uh, it was fibered and there was no copper and then they introduced the CDDI that is copper distributed data interface and it is also called uh, the twisted pair distributed data interface because it uh, uses a twisted pair. So it, was, uh, it is less expensive but there is a distance limitation due to copper and it is slower and there is uh, it is also prone to electromagnetic interference and eavesdropping. Now the most dominant LAN technology is uh, the 802.3 or ethernet. Uh, that is uh, 802.3 is that it uses the media access control because 802.2 uses the upper layer of data link that is the logical uh, link control. So actually basically there are two uh, sub layers in data link layer of OSI model that is the layer 2. So in this layer 2 uh, uh, the first layer which interface with the physical uh, layer is the media access control or MAC and second one is the LLC. So this 802.3 or Ethernet uses MAC or it is or MAC is used by this. So it is more very dominant LAN technology nowadays due to uh, because it is very cheap and very uh, easy to deploy and uh, more of data speed is very high. So it uh, transmit uh, the frames that is the uh, datagram at layer 2 and uh, it allows uh, to uh, network devices to use the shared media that is only one media is used by all devices. So there are some collision issues and uh, also the broadcast that uh, the broadcast domain is the one that is the, uh, the uh, any device on this Ethernet uh, network can uh, broadcast traffic to all other devices or connected to the same Ethernet. So there is also issues of, uh, with the of collision that is if the two nodes tries to transmit uh, the data at the same time because it is baseband there uh, that is the only single channel is there or only one uh, single uh, signal can be sent at a time but it is duplex uh, that is the it allows two way communication at the same time so if uh, two nodes tries to communicate at the same time then there is uh, uh, collision issue and this issue is resolved uh, by this technology carrier sense multiple access collision detection that is CSMHCD. So actually it uh, sends uh, the absence of traffic on the uh, ethernet uh, media and uh, then it uh, transmit uh, its tra signal and then it monitors for any kind of collision or any additional signal sent by other device. If there is any other signal is being sent at the same time while it is transmitting then uh, this protocol stops uh, transmitting and then it sends a jam signal to all devices and then it retransmit after a random period. So this uh, repetition of these signals uh, lost the throughput of uh, this ethernet about 40%. But even then it is okay. So it uses star or bus uh, physical topology and it uses twisted pair. Uh, the old, uh, older, you know, uh, the legacy or the older version uh, was also using this uh, coaxial cable, but now it used twisted pair. So actually, this ARP protocol is used to transla uh, translate uh, IP 
into Mac. So it used to actually craft the IP packet, uh, sorry, the Ethernet pack, uh, frame from IP packet that you know the IP address, but you uh, does not know the MAC address uh, in order to transmit the data to the uh, device on the Ethernet. So it, uh, this ARP protocol is used to craft these Ethernet frames. Moreover, this RJ5 connector is a connector for used on Ethernet. So there are other uh, collision uh, 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 technology or collision avoidance or tech detection technologies. The older one is uh, collision uh, carrier sense multiple access. And this carrier sense multiple access actually does uh, sense uh, the existence of uh, any signal on the same media. And if there is any signal, then it does not send the traffic. It is just like uh, the shared uh, phone, uh, phone line or it is called the party line where multiple homes are using only one shared line and if any single person is using the telephone then uh, the other one just pick up the uh, telephone and sense the existence of that person and, and then uh, drop the call and later on tries uh, again if this media is uh, not busy. So actually this CSMA which is the simplest version you sense the idleness of the media and then if media is idle then it sends uh, the signal and then it uh, waits for the acknowledgement if acknowledgement is received then it is okay otherwise it resend after a timeout period uh, and start from uh, step one that is sensing the media for idleness or for absence of signal this collision sense uh, multiple access uh, collision avoidance carrier sense multiple access uh, collision avoidance is used by 802.11 that is the wireless uh, LAN or VLAN and uh, it is more productive than CSMA uh, CD that is carrier sense multiple access collision detection which is used by this Ethernet because it is proactive and uh, it gets the permission uh, to uh, uh, transmit its signal and then it transmits the signal. So it is basically used because this wireless media is half duplex that only one uh, device can send at a time although the devices can send in both direction but only at one time. Therefore it sends then it uh, for the media for idleness and if media is idle then it uh, gets the permission to send the signal and then it sends the signal and wait for acknowledgement and if uh, this acknowledgement is not received then it waits for an idle time and starts from step one then the third one is the csma cd which is used by 802.3 uh, or this ethernet which I, I have discussed earlier as well which is uh, actually reactive uh, not proactive but uh, it can detect uh, the collision early than other protocols because it continues monitors the media for any such uh, collision or uh, any if any other device is trying to transmit the signal so this was all uh, rather one thing more is left is the uh, the uh, speed of this ethernet so this fast ethernet is the 100 mbps speed and this gigabit ethernet is the 1 gig or 1000 mbps speed and this base uh, in indicates that this is a baseband that is only one uh, there is only one channel and t indicates that it is twisted pair so these are the speeds of this uh, ethernet that is uh, now or days it is fast ethernet that is 100 mbps or gigabit ethernet may be used in data centers so this table uh, tells the distance speed and types and everything so f first three used dust uh, uh, first two uh, used uh, uses uh, bus topology and rest three uses uh, this uh, use uh, this star topology so this was all from my side please uh, stay connected to my channel for similar videos thank you